good day y'all hopefully you all had a wonderful week this is me back at it i'm moving the mollies that i had inside the sofin mollies wild corrected here local anyways it's time to downsize in the fish room and i'm, I'm putting them out here in the 300 gallon stock tank now i call this the 300 gallon molly pond anyways before i release them i got them in the bucket here right here before i release them to, to the pond i i, I want to get them on video show y'all some of them so especially the male you know because what better way to show it to y'all than do it before i release them because once i release them there's no way of catching them catching oh okay i could but since i got them right now make it easier for y'all to see them let's go ahead and catch the male Sorry, y'all. There we go. My allergies have been killing me. It's okay. Let's go ahead and grab them. Show it to y'all. This one is a nice blue tail. It has a bit of orange in it. Now, of course, it's under stress since I moved it. It was showing its color better earlier. This is a, a wild silken molly, for those who wondered. Very beautiful. They are found here in Texas, for those who wondered. Let's see if I can catch the other male in here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the fish I got. I do that in the net, quick. That way y'all can see the difference. Now this is a female wild self in Mali. Now, of course, it's, it's under stress. Let's see if we can get, turn around. There we go. A little better view. They do have a nice pink side to them, but they're definitely not as colorful as the male, by the way. Let's see if I can catch some babies for y'all and show y'all the babies as well. Uh, they did have babies in my tank in the house. Actually, I caught two of them. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. There we go. Let's see if we can get them on camera. I put a little bit less water in here. Let's go, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. That way you can maybe see them a little better. And so these would be F1s, for those who wondered. Because the parents are wild. There we go. Very beautiful. Two babies. Now this is a different um, batches of babies, by the way. It's not the same batch. So they've been breeding happily, y'all. I 
I'll just, I'm just checking to see if there's any um, other males in here that are colored up right now. And remember, uh, uh, under stress. No, I'm not seeing any of the others colored up. It's okay. But I'm going to go ahead and release them, though. Release them into the pond. Give them a little more swimming area, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and move y'all closer to the tub, the, the molly pond, shall we? And this is the 300 gallon molly pond for those who wondered. There we go. And for those who wondered, uh, uh, they were acclimated to the pond. And double check the bucket, y'all, if any fish in them. Make sure you released all of them into the new environment because you didn't want to leave any um, fish in the bucket. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so that was a good success. I do have, I do have a fish tank yet that I, I need to empty out. Let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, that's why I felt. I thought I had something in my foot. Or my, my, my shoe. Crock. A mesquite. Thorn. Mesquites have thorns, y'all. Mesquite trees. It's a shrub here in Texas. And that was stuck up into my crock. So, yeah. I, th I first thought it was just a pebble. But, no. That is a thorn. Good thing I didn't push down on it. Because that could have jammed up into my foot. And that would have hurt. So that's one thing you have to be aware of here in Texas is a mesquite. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab the tank because there might be um, some residents left in the tank. I'm going to go ahead and just release the all the dirt and junk that was in the tank. There. That way I know there ain't any residents left in the tank. Welcome in, y'all. I'm putting the tank away for now. I do need to clean it out tomorrow or the next day. Clean it out before I need to set it up again. Or some other species of fish or whatever. Anyways, the pond is dirty. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. Let's grab the, the, the camera. Now, see, y'all can't see it too well, but it is. I keep keep up the dirt in the bottom of the pond for those wonders. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out, y'all. Bye.